I wanted to do a different kind of video today where I talk about my thoughts about Harvest Moon Save the Homeland kind of off the cuff without any real planning because that's kind of how I remember the game. So as a kid, I never owned Save the Homeland. My brother did and I only saw him play it occasionally. And at the time of that, I was playing Back to Nature, and that was the newest one that I played. I think I might have played A Wonderful Life, but that's too long ago for me to remember. But what I do remember is it being a very strange game to me because I was so used to Back to Nature and Friends of Mineral Town, I think I may have played. But Save the Homeland had this really mysterious vibe to me and I don't know if it's just because it was my brother's and I didn't own it and I only would sometimes see it in the game was you know 3d it had like the cell shaded look and I was probably like 10 or 11 at the time when I saw it and it just kind of holds a spot in my mind of just being this like mysterious weird game I like I know it's shorter I know you can't get married, but I, you know, I saw him taking care of the crops and taking care of the animals. And it just had this like vibe to it that reminded me, well, at least now, of A Wonderful Life. But you know, it was I think it was either concurrent or older. I don't really know. And that's the point of this video. Because I think sometime in the near future, I want to play the game. And I want to make a video where I just kind of talk about how I remembered it before I revisit it, because what exists in my mind is so mysterious to me, which I've said multiple times, but I just remember it having like fog and like, you know, just kind of being dark, like in the morning and just different things happening. Um, just a really mellow, gentle vibe, which is what I'm all about. And that's why I really liked the, um, like a wonderful life and stuff. I like how relaxed it is and how it isn't like over the top. I don't really know too much about it. I, I know I walked around in it a little bit, but like I didn't play it and I was so young that I played it how I played every other game, which was basically just me aimlessly wandering around and you know, like I could finish games and stuff, but you know, I'd play Zelda and I'd just walk around Clacktown for like hours at a time like I I never felt the need to do the main thing I just did whatever I felt like doing whatever was fun to me at the time I actually don't have much else to say about it I just want to remember like just how strange it was to me uh, that's that's about it I just wanted to make a little video maybe like a like a preamble just the mysterious like, I'm, am I going to play this and I'm going to become competent in it and understand it? And am, am I going to change my entire perspective on it when I replay it? That's what I'm wondering. Anywho. I don't know what I'm going to say now, so I'm just going to end the video here. So this is my ramble thoughts thing. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.